Well, as we could see from that, next up is men's doubles. And the Malaysian pair, Kukian Kiat and Tamboon Hyong, two-time former champions. They're up against a brand new pairing playing in their first ever tournament together. Mikael Fuchs and Johannes Schuttler of Germany. Well, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned on the uh, race to the Super Series finals in Malaysia, you can see that Ku and Tan are on that list, but they were down one place after the Japan Open because, of course, they didn't play either the Japan or the China Masters, so down to number eight in the world ranking. So two Japanese pairs there. Boa Morgensen, of course, the Danes, up three places to number six, having reached the semi-final of the last Super Series prior to this, the Di Japan Open. Ko and Lee, incidentally, the number ones, well, they've now split, so presumably they'll start going down the list. I wonder what will happen if they still qualify for the Super Series finals. Will they team up together? Well, we'll have to wait and see. So I can see the court officials coming on to court for the next match, the men's doubles. Kukian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong, the two-time former champions in 2007 and 2009. Beaten finalists last year, lost out to Shin Bek Chol and Yu Young Sung. So three times finalists. Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong, currently number five, as was announced, but former world number ones. Between October 2009 and November 2010, 54 weeks uninterrupted as world number ones. And here comes this new German pairing of Michael Fuchs and Johannes Schuttler. Yeah, the left-handed Tan Boon Hyong, 26-year-old, turned 26 last month. In fact, Ku and Tan share a birthday, but Ku has just turned 28. There he is, 18th of September, their birthdays. And very recently married. Married last Saturday. Married Audrey Tan. Oh, it's not much more of a way to spend your honeymoon coming to Denmark no. for the Danish Open. Very understanding wives. These professional sportsmen must have understanding partners. You better bring back the title. Tan Boon Hyong. Former world junior champion. And it really was an astonishing start. The two Malaysian players to their partnership back in 2007. Well, the end of 2006 when they won the Asian Games gold medal, of course. But... These two German players, very well known on the world tour, but not in partnership together. Kukian Kiat, 28, from Subang. And his partner, Tan Bu Hyong, as I say, 26. Seeded four. And they are number five in the current world ranking. Their win-loss record for the year reached one final. That was the Malaysian Grand Prix gold. One semi-final. That was the Korean Super Series. In fact, if you look at their Super Series results so far, only five of the previous eight tournaments. One semi-final, one quarter-final, and three last 16s, which obviously gives cause for concern against Bosch and Rida in the first round. That was very comfortable in just 27 minutes, 15 and 14, the two games there. But their last Super Series title, the Malaysian event in 2010, that's over 45 months ago. 
So for Malaysian fans, that is, I'm sure, of great concern. Well, in the background there, well, on the left now as we look at them, Miguel Fuchs, 31-year-old from Bavaria. His partner, 29, from Hamburg. Tall man is Schuttler, 191. That's about six foot three. And currently ranked number 20 in the world with Ingo Kindafata. But I understand that he has a broken bone in his foot. And he's just coming back from injury. But I was talking to these two Germans yesterday and they gave me the distinct impression that they will be a regular partnership from now on. Of course, Kindafata is... 34 years of age, so perhaps they feel that apart from the injury woes, he has maybe passed his his best as far as building up towards European Championships next year and future Olympic Games. Of course, both these Germans played in the London Olympics. Mikkel Fuchs reached the quarterfinal of the mixed doubles with Brigitte Michels. And he's had recent success with her at the London Grand Prix Gold event. Yeah, that's typical more his event is the mixed double. Yeah. So well, you say that. I mean, he's twice European medalist in the men's doubles. I know that, uh, but, but this is a diff. This is <laughs> super serious. Yeah. The Premier. Uh, um, I'm not taking anything away from, from back from the Europeans, uh, away from the Europeans, but added it's a little bit easier um, but uh, we, we'll have to see maybe he can prove me wrong here now uh, um, he has some, some some good things he's very, he's very powerful and um, good in the service situation which uh, should lose always so and he's a fighter yeah um, and you say that if, if, if Ko and Tan has one of these days where they're not Ladies really up for it, then on my right, there's a chance. Thomas Schettler, Michael Fuchs, Germany. On my left, Tan Boon Hyong and Ku Kien Kiat, Malaysia. Ku Kien Kiat to serve, Johannes Schettler, love all, play. So the number four seeds, Ku Kian Kiat and Tambun Hyong. One love. Two times former champions up against a pair playing in their first ever tournament together. They did, in fact, enter the London Grand Prix Gold, but withdrew before the tournament started. Service over. One. So a bit of an four. unknown quantity as far as this partnership is concerned. been an awful lot of talk in recent months and I do mean some considerable months about whether Ku and Tan should be split as a Three, pair they were one. given an ultimatum I that, think we spoke about it last year yeah <laughs> they had to reach the final of the recent world championships in Guangzhou oh, they failed to do that fault oh, service fault called service over two three Klaus Schlieben our service judge from Austria. Yeah, he's very sharp on the service faults. Three, all. Well, there's been an awful lot of changes and goings on in Malaysian badminton in the last month or so. It's been difficult to follow. It has been very <laughs> difficult to follow. Service fault called. Service fault called. Now on Service the Germans. 
Well, it's quite clear Four, from the hand three. signal that the racket wasn't poisoned. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think he should have called it <laughs> on the rally before. That's the problem. Um, yeah. Um, that's, that, that's the one thing that's difficult for the players, is that when it gets called one time, uh, you know, they, they're not changing it at all, you know, sometimes Santa it's the Santa. same serve they use. So. Four. Well, oh. I, I take your point, but I, I also feel that there's never a need for a player to go across and talk to the service judge because the service judge, when calling a fault, has to give a clear hand signal of what <laughs> the fault was called. But everybody, all players, even I, when I played fault, that was a rule. Five, <laughs> you know, four. therefore that that's that's something you. I don't think that I never had an umpire who said no. For example, so so I don't think the service judge is just doing his job and telling you what it is. But but uh, I think the umpire should say no. Nope, it's been called. Yeah. But going back to the Malaysian case there, one day I read that there was a coach hired and the next day he wasn't hired and next, you know, so yeah. I well, think Sidek was in and out within two yeah. days, three days or something like that. So Rashid Sidek yeah. resigned and then uh, because the man who'd made all the changes in the coaching structure, he then resigned. So Rashid Sidek was reinstated and it's all very complicated, and as you say, Jim, a little bit hard to follow. <laughs> Seven, four. Well, good start by the Germans. Let's... Ten, ten, you must be ready. Yeah, I'm part... Good call. Mike Wright, just reinforcing that. Yeah, well, you and I have spoken at length, haven't we, about Seven, the over. amount of time taken Five, in between rallies. Yeah. It's just too long. I could understand if there was a long rally. Uh, then you sometimes, I think it's okay just to take a little bit of a like before, but there's, there's been no rally so far. Oh, my goodness. Around the back. Oh, then a miss hit. No, oh, he's just overdone it. Well, you said he was a fighter. Yeah. My goodness me, Six, demonstrated seven. that quite clearly in that rally. <laughs> Extraordinary. Whoa. Yeah, well taken. I think the Germans has to be a little bit. Seven all. Quicker on the third shot, you see uh, that that's that's a mixed double shot, you know, and that just doesn't go well down in the in double because Chan and Ko will be up there at the net as soon as they see the shuttle go further and further down. So you have to take the shuttle high and then stop it. Um, already out the net. You see that rally again, you see even before uh, Schuttler is hitting his shot, Cole uh, is already standing at the net. So, see that. Has to be much quicker. Oh. Sure. Yeah, good smash. Service over. Eight, That's the new coach uh, from Denmark, uh, Jakob Önslager, who recently got hired, uh, took over another Danes job, Jakob Hoyt, who's moved to England uh, to take over another Danes job, Kenneth Jonasson, <laughs> who's moved to Denmark. So it goes, uh, it goes in circles. Nine, um, but um, I've had the pleasure to talk to Jakob a lot of times. He's a good coach. Uh, Done good jobs where he's been. Oh, it's just long. Well learned Ten, by eight. Tan Boon Hyong. It would have been awfully easy to instinctively just play the shot. Yeah, 
seven, eight interval. So when they're on the attack and Queen Kian Kiat. Okay. Is seeing the shuffle early. Be fast on the soft one. It seems like they're starting to push a little bit more, especially Tan when he is returning. Okay, so we just have to be fast on this one and then block it. Okay, you have to return a little bit more to the side. They're ready on this one here. Okay, you made some good ones to the side. Remember the block from good positions. Okay, and also the steep attack. We have won some points with playing hard, but we cannot forget the steep ones. Okay. But move forward again. Good start here. Come on. Well, that was quite clear. Come over. Nine, 11. Oh, Jeremy Dang, the Malaysian coach. That's good from Tan Boon Hyong. My goodness me. 13, you just nine. see Tan and Cole reading the game much better than the Germans run it. See, again, yeah. that's the low shot. Uh, they have to give away the initiative sometimes, the Germans, I think, you know, and just trust that they can stay a little bit in defense because 14, Tan and Cole nine. is just moving forward. Ten of the last 12 points. Four seven down. Yeah. And it's all from taking the front court uh, away from the Germans. Jakob spoke about you know getting the steep smashes in and stuff, yeah. you know, but they're not even in a second position. So um, they have to get better out of the service situation. Get that block in as he spoke about so they can get the lift. So that's easier said than done. Oh, that's a good shot. See, that's better. Good defense. Oh, it's just wide. Yeah, wide by a whisker. Well, see, this is also what Jakob said. They have to be very careful of the jump. They were, the first match chance they had, they were hitting hard, which means that Ko and Tan can counter them straight away. He used, his, used the sort of steep smashes. He used the block. Um, they have to have a bit more a little bit more of uh, patience in the attack when they do get it because Tan and Ko doesn't look like they're just going to give up the net <laughs> that easily. 17, 9. There's no Service argument over. from the Malaysians, so it must have clipped the racket of Kukian Kiat. There. Yeah. Good spot by the umpire. Oh, better. 11, 17. was going long. 12, 17. That's actually quite impressive. He still got it over. <laughs> that was still a pretty good shot. Seven, 
Service over. 18, 12. Twelve. You have to be careful hitting out of balance. See. Yeah. You can just see the Malaysian pairs just a little bit quicker on all the parts of the game than the Germans are. That's you know the, I think the only chance that the Germans really have in this match is to try to control the server situation. You know, make make Ko and Tan as we've seen often un a little bit uncomfortable. You know, maybe get Tan a little bit of uncomfortable hit on him. 13, and, and 19. If they just continue like this, they're not gonna gonna change anything in the game. Lovely. <laughs> That's a wonderful Service technique. over. 20. Well, he makes it look so easy. Look 13. at that. And just wait. See, I can tell you, from people watching that, that is a very difficult shot. Game point. Service over. Uh, good return. 14, 20. Well, coach was asking them to play more down the side on the return of serve, weren't they? Wasn't he? But... It hasn't happened enough so far. It's a good serve, serve from Schuttler. Oh. Just wide and the frustration there from Miguel Fuchs. Yeah, it was the right idea. And it only missed by a whisker. Just 14 minutes of play. 21-14. Um, in the serve situation, when you serve to co, it's important to close the net after this. Okay, get really close. To, then the back player just have to cover everything else because now it tries to push it just a little bit back, but it's not dangerous. Yeah. We can get early on this one. It's more important to close the net. Okay, it's the same with Tan. He's just playing more behind the net player, but the net player has to move forward here. Yeah. Remember, every time we place a block, they try to get high on it and just block it back. Okay, we have to be ready on this. It's all about closing the net at the moment. Okay? Uh, the returns, get them on the sides on them. But go all in on the short serve. If they make a flick, okay, then make a point on this. Uh, they have not made a flick yet. Okay, so go more for it. Uh, you know it would be like two or three. Sehr gute, sehr gute Netzrolle annahmen jetzt gespielt. Ja, das ist auch richtig. Ja? Das okay. Ist, uh, Aus der Abwehr, ich finde, wir kommen zwar mit einem Block, ja. ist zwar irgendwie Verteidigung, mhm. aber das, äh, da kommen wir nicht voran, weil sie sind dann trotzdem hoch dran und schaffen es entweder einfach kurz zu legen oder uns dann irgendwie so, so zu schicken. Ich habe irgendwie das Gefühl, wir müssen den ersten pushen und dann vielleicht einen Block spielen. Ja. But that's also okay, but you have to move a little bit when you play the, the flat hard one. Ja. Instead of playing, you play the next one from low position. Ja, ja, ja. You have to ha get better positions in this. Okay, come on guys. Very clear and very interesting. Yeah, you are. Those are up on the side. English and German. Cool. So English and German. Well, you want to solve one, then you can play. If you want to solve one, then you can play. Let's hope yeah. nothing got so, lost in translation. So, 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 Huh? Yeah, and, and, but what we heard uh, Jakob and, and uh, uh, said to, to his players was exactly what I spoke about. They, they want to try and make the service situation much more uncomfortable for, for Ko and Ten. And they, they've, they've kind of read their, what can you say, their service system or returning system. You know, yeah. Ko was going close to the net and Tan was putting a little bit. So they were going to react to that. And then he talked about that first shot to be, and we always say, Fuchs, you're much further um, up to the net. And then go for the serve. Go for the, go on, go Two, on the, 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 the short serve. Don't be afraid of the flick. They haven't flicked yet, he said. Now that can be, 
very dangerous. Because if that flick comes in, then that's a point. Well, that was a much better Three. return of One. serve from uh, Johannes Schuttler. Yeah, but we have to understand this is what where Fuchs is normally not that shot right there. He's not used to that. In a mixed double, it's much, I don't know, it's easier, but it's a little bit more comfortable to play to the net there than it is in men's doubles. Oh. Deflected by the net court. Yeah. Service over. I Two, think personally they have three. to be careful of pushing those shots there. You can see that that's a that's a, the lock of the net that that Tan is not taking that one because I think Tan and Co is realized they you know they're much better when they get power. Uh, I think they have to make it simple, block uh, block it mainly to Tan uh, because Co uh, you know Co has can work miracles at the net. Um, that will be the the chance. Service over. Four, three. Five, three. Yeah, they're struggling, the Germans, to turn their defensive play into attack yeah. at all. But it's not their, it's not their style of play. It wasn't, wasn't uh, Schuttler's and Kinderfather's art that wasn't to be in defense. It, it, it's always been about the service situation there. Uh, Kinderfather's a taller guy than, than mm. Fuchs is, so it's when they really are on that top of the game, that it's very, can say awkward to play against them. Two tall guys and with long reach and stuff like that. So it's never been about just being in defense. Oh, that's fine. Oh my goodness me. Oh. That five, is very four. seldom you see that. Well, in badminton terms, that wasn't even particularly close to the back line, was it? <laughs> Thought it was going long, got out of the way at the last moment. Got well in. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. Kukian <laughs> Kiat. Well, known for his net play. Six, five. Sometimes tends to be a little over ambitious. We've been critical of that in the past. But when he's really focused and he's really keeping the shuttle, concentrating on taking it early and just keeping it going in a downward direction or a nice little block, then that, of course, is how they won so many titles and became world number one. Six titles in 2007, their first full year together. Yeah, but he was also way more effective at that time. He, you know, it wasn't. He's a little bit too Seven, too playful five. now. I don't know if that's the right yeah. word, but 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 at that time I remember he was way more effective, he was way more up and going. You know, wow. You know, uh, uh, looking for the chance to win the points all the time. Here it's a little bit. Ah, let's see if we can do a trick shot more. You know. Um, so is that all about? Attitude Eight, or five. discipline, you know. Discipline. Uh, uh, um, I'm pretty sure that that he can get away with it, and then I'm not not to, to, to say anything bad about the German, but he he gets away with some of it here in this match. Uh, he he won't get it away if he if he's to win uh, a big tournament against the, the you know the, the bigger play, uh, b better Eight. pairs. Um, and maybe that's the little thing that's lacking when they've been close to winning tournaments or uh, world championships. So is that suddenly you can't just walk around and just think everything is no. it's going to be one on the play yeah. uh, You have to be really focused and disciplined. Nine, six. And there's nothing worse when you have a play against a guy like Ko that suddenly uh, are very disciplined because you expect him to do things that, and you know actually Seven force him to do these things Seven and then he doesn't do it and he's so you know he's impossible to play against mm. i remember kind of the same type of player with Sigit. yeah uh, Sigit Budiato. Budiato, yeah well, he could do anything with a shuttle yeah. uh, 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 and you thought yeah okay well he makes a lot of mistakes as well and 
uh, he gives us chances as well. But then sometimes when I played him, he didn't do anything at all, and you had no chance <laughs> mm. uh, uh, because he was that effective. Because um, seven, seven. they're just that good. Ten, seven. Uh, and it's all because they have the opportunity, because they have such a good technique. They have the opportunity to do whatever they want. I don't know it sounds crazy, but Eight, it can be a problem. <laughs> Nine, ten. Try and solve the service situation. Schuttler's movement after the low serve, where he immediately goes forward to the net to challenge the net shot. Oh, throws in the flick. Good flick it was too, and it's back level. Yeah, and then it's two points, uh, three oh. points off ten, and you see straight away Cole looking at him, where you know what was happening. Um, see that the little look, and that's that's what they have to feed off. Seven, ten, interval. Oh, the luck of the net cord, but created their own luck in a way. You know, it's a lot about the serve situation here. You have to move forward. It's okay if they push one through us, but if you've made the first one, they play from this position. They try just to play a short, short one again, so both of you have to close the net. Okay. Remember, on call, just go forward on him. It's good for the flick one sometimes. That's fine. But just continue to pace him when you attack from the, from the back because you have difficulties with the, the slice from your front side. He's always late on it there, cool. Okay. okay. Come on. Come Oh, just wide. But playing much better now, the yeah. Germans, as you heard, Jakob also said against all about the service situation. Uh, and he's, he's totally right. And now they, they you see the Germans are much further up on the court. Um, not afraid of, 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 of going forward and just, as he's actually telling him, that you have to live with that one shot that gets past you. Uh, because you, you're going to have a lot of other opportunities. Clever tactic. It's going wide, real wide. Yeah, yeah I, I, I take your point about the whole tone of the rally is set up by the the serve and the return and it's been well demonstrated by the difference now in the German pair but also do you not feel as a coach and I know you now are a very experienced coach and if you were coaching the Malaysians would you not feel a little bit frustrated seven, that they seven. seem to be in control of the match well, and somehow 13. they've let it slip a little bit yeah oh, but I would have taken that before the match started because I knew it could happen yeah and this is what I talked about Rico now He's, he's been looking like he's having a, he's been having a good time in there uh, mm. and he probably has but now he's behind 14 12 yeah. then what yeah you know over, over. he shouldn't have been in 14, this situation 12 no so this is all before um, and, and and the thing is for, for him and uh, I think for, Without knowing them personally, how how they are, but 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 uh, oh. 
the, the thing is, as I've seen Tan over the years, he's not the guy 13, that needs somebody 14. that 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 uh, 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 is going to put more and more and more pressure on his game. He's the guy that needs somebody to, you know, go forward and and and, sh and show that he really wants this, because okay. that that's making him better. Yeah. He feels that it's his mistake now, and it's actually not. Just spoke about there's a you know, I can name other oh. top players in the world who would have put that shuttle in the, on the floor when they had the ten, but he just had to use that slice drop shot and then they still had a rally. Yeah, it looks good. We, I can agree on that. I, I think it's fantastic to watch, but do you win titles doing that? No, no. not all the time. <laughs> no super series title for 45 months. There you go. Over 45 months, yeah. Well, there's your answer. Yeah, that's nice. Service well, they're over. now such an experienced pair 15, together. The Malaysians, I mean, there shouldn't be a big gap down the middle there. But it's difficult to change to a different tempo. Yeah. They've, they've dug a hole themselves now. They have to get out of it. It's not that easy. Did the right 15, thing there, folks. 16. Yeah. Service over. 17, 15. Tough position to be in right now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's not looking for that first shot. If it's going to be there. Uh, so Tan showing some. 16, 17. And it's actually, you know, it's funny it can work like that because it's yeah. actually not his fault. It's no, I was he, he's, he suddenly decides and ready now. Let's go. And then Tan is like, "Where's your been? Where have you been for the last ten rallies?" Yeah. You know, uh, it's very difficult. And yet they're adamant that they want to continue playing together. Isn't it, isn't it uh, a little bit out of who else should they play with? Well. Is there a better partner for each player in Malaysia? Oh, okay. uh, nice done. Well, perhaps there's a question. Is there a, a better player for one of them to play with that's yeah, going to make an even better number one pair. Yeah. I think that's the question they should be asking. Yeah. Instead of trying to make two new good pairs, is there a, a pair we can form that yeah. is a pair that can challenge at the top of World Badminton? Because, you know, I mean, it sounds awfully harsh. Ku and Tan are currently number five in the world, but you look at the talent they've got. And talent they should, and Malaysian standard. And it's they it's should <laughs> be winning titles, yeah, yeah. and they're not. No. 
That's the thing. Service over. 19-17. Now two points away from taking this second game, the Germans. Section. Well, Turner's been quite over. good here the last couple of hours. 18, 19. The one thing they could do is to force them to play with another one each. And if that doesn't work, they they know that, okay, we have to play together again and we have to make the best out of it mm. because this is this is what we got, you know? Yeah, because it must be unsettling for the players as well to sort of be under threat if, yeah. they, if they want to continue this partnership, but... It's not the way. Mm. Just one point in it, 18-19 in this second game. Oh, good serve. 19 all. Oh. level. Yeah, but this is what he was told by Jakob to, to go for it. Mm. So uh, they're sticking to the plan, which has worked. So I'd be, I'd be pretty uh, surprised if Schurter's not doing the same. Just too good a serve. if uh, any of our German speakers <laughs> were offended by that. 20, match point, 19. The error into the nets. Okay. And it means that the former champions have a match point <laughs> opportunity. The umpire understood it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. yeah. I don't think it needs a translation. Probably have been told to, uh, to continue play. Good serve again. Oh. Yeah. Well, came good in the end. Did Kuki and Kiat and Tambu and Hyong. Four straight points from 17-19 down to close out the second game and therefore the match. 21-14, 21-19 the scoreline. Thirty-five minutes. And their confirmation of the score. So Ku and Tan safely through to the quarterfinal. And they'll play against Ali Yongdae and his new partner, Yu Yong Sung. That'll be an interesting match tomorrow. It's only five minutes for the victory there. Can't help but think that they made harder work of it than perhaps they should have done. Well, that emphasizes the coach's point. No flick serves at all from the Malaysians throughout the match. And they had two, but they, those were called for the service fault. So, and that's that. That's also part of the game. You know, if you get called for your, uh, for your flick serve, then you might not use it as much. Um. Well, the winners from the front of the court, the net winners, I think, yeah really very decisive in fact the winners better from the Malaysians on the overheads as well but it was all about the service situation you know these statistics uh, you can say you can fool you a little bit but but we saw the Germans stick to the plan and they were close to snap in that second set um, which is something if they are gonna continue to play together they have to improve their game and they can be 
very difficult to play if they get better. Well, there you can see confirmation that they'll play against the number eight seeds, Lee Yong Dae and Yu Young Sung. Of course, Yu Young Sung is the defending champion, won the title last year with Shinbek Chol. In fact, beat the Malaysians in the final. So, three of the players on court tomorrow for the quarterfinal will have played in last year's men's doubles final. So four of our five uh, matches have been completed and only the first, the mixed doubles, has gone the full uh, distance. Of course, next up will be a second mixed doubles and the three-time former champions, Jochen Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen involved in that up against Hawakawa and Matsutomo. But before we get into the last of our matches today, just to let you know what's happening in women's doubles as far as the race to Malaysia is concerned and the Super Series finals. Well, I can tell you that